Now to technology, an important aspect of the way we now communicate and get information is through social media. Twitter, Facebook, and a multitude of other social networks are very popular in Africa. The 2014 Nendo Social Media Trend Report sheds a light on social media trends in East Africa. Joining us now for more discussion is Mark Kaigwai, the founder of Nendo Ventures, a strategy and storytelling consultancy for Digital Africa. In 2013, Mark was named one of Africa's top 30 entrepreneurs under age 30 by Forbes magazine. Hello, Mark. Welcome to the show. Thank you so How much. How about that, that uh, Forbes magazine distinction? It was, uh, it was a great honor, a great yeah, pleasure. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you Listen, so much. Listen, in the report that I mentioned, the Nendo report, one of the findings is the fact that WhatsApp, which is an application that many of us use, it could become one of the most disrupt disruptive social media tools. How so? Well, what we believe from just uh, examining the social media landscape now, so looking at how everyday African countries, and particularly their digital citizens, the urbanites, the young men and women who are uh, experiencing the internet for the first time on a mobile device, they tend to not only participate in social networks as we know them, such as Facebook and Twitter, but actually WhatsApp is increasingly becoming the social media tool of choice, even though it's not in many ways considered a social network itself. Now, mm -hmm. it's closer to instant messaging, which is precisely why we believe, uh, different to perhaps Twitter and Facebook, it's, it's allowing a lot more people okay. to, to start and to jump in on it. So we see this big trend in Africa, social media, it's not just uh, in, uh, on the West, you know. Uh, what, since social media has been introduced in Africa, have you noticed a type of shift in the way people are using it? Certainly. I think that um, if you contrast between South Africa, Nigeria, Kenya, you have instances in each respective um, country, let alone a number of the, the, uh, the 54 different African countries themselves, single-handedly, where those connected citizens are using this as a new uh, area for public participation. In Kenya, uh, Kenyans on Twitter, or KOT as they're known, are known for uh, using that, uh, you know, a certain hashtag called someone tell mm -hmm. to speak to whether it's the Western media to correct them on, on misperceptions on, on Africa, on Kenya, South Africa, the same with certain ways where they express political uh, leanings and, and just giving uh, citizens a way to collectively voice their opinions about certain topics in current affairs and make world leaders and local leaders notice. Now you mentioned Nigeria, Kenya and South Africa. They seem to be making bold steps in the technolo technology field. To what extent do you think that they will lead the way in this global world changing technology? I think right now, especially uh, when you look at what some would call the next billion, right? you look at really the emerging economies now, much of the innovation of tomorrow, I believe, and I believe there's a number of experts who are increasingly being persuaded, if not having predicted this, that many of the, the best ideas and the leading ideas will come from places like You've mentioned Nigeria, Kenya, South Africa. In Kenya, we have our technology scene. We have what we uh, love to call Silicon Savannah. You have Silicon Lagoon, if you like, in, uh, in Lagos, or Silicon Cape in, in Cape Town in South Africa. So you have tech hubs in each one of the four corners of the continent, even Cairo in many respects, that are looking to African solutions, African-led, seen with African eyes. And in many cases, in the case of Kenya with M-Pesa and Ushahidi, these go global and really shine the spotlight back on Africa. Mark, you know, this might sound cliche, but when we say the future of Africa, you are sitting right there, and I know you are one of them. That's Thank you so much for joining us, and congratulations on all your accomplishments. Thank you. Great. And that was Mark Kaigua, the founder of Nendo Ventures, a strategy and storytelling consultancy for digital Africa. We want to know what you think about Africa 54 and the stories we've covered. Join us, the conversation on Facebook. The address is Africa 54 and check out our headlines 24-7 on voaafrica.com.